Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Metropolis Radio. Today, we have more news coming out of AFM, the American film market. And more specifically, to tie this back into The Expendables, uh, news just broke that uh, Dolph Lundgren returns to directing for the for a new action movie called Wanted Man. Uh, the Expendables star Dolph Lundgren will direct and star in an upcoming action movie, Wanted Man, that tells the story of a DEA inside job. Uh, Dolph Lundgren is back in action, this time behind the camera as the director of Wanted Man, best known for starring in Rocky IV and Creed II as Ivan Drago. Uh, the action star has been a fixture of the genre in the years with roles in films like Universal Soldier, The Expendables, Masters of the Universe, and Johnny Mnemonic. I completely forgot he was in Johnny Mnemonic, but, but, but really, Johnny Mnemonic is a fixture of the, of the action genre. You know, to be, to be fair... Um, only people that are like really into action movies and more specifically people that are really into cyberpunk have seen Johnny Mnemonic, you know, like yours truly has. But, um, I guarantee you most people have probably never seen Johnny Mnemonic nor ever really heard of it, uh, among many others. Uh, following what some have considered a dry spell mar marked by multiple direct video releases, Lundgren has recently been experiencing a comeback with The Expendables 4 in the Aquaman movies. Uh, Deadline reports that Lundgren also has a directing comeback in the works with an upcoming government action film, Wanted Man. Uh, Lundgren, Lundgren co-wrote the screenplay with, with Michael Worth and will, and, and will also star in the film. The government entry action movie involves a cartel, an inside job, and a conflicted cop. Wanted Man will be produced by Millennium Media with Avi Lerner, Bo uh, Boaz Davidson, and Trevor Short as executive producers, and Jeffrey, Gre and Jeffrey Greenstein at, and, Jonathan, and Jonathan Younger as producers. Uh, for those that don't know, I believe Millennium are the people that distribute the Expendables movies, if I'm, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, filming on Wanted Man is currently scheduled for February 2022. Uh, this will be Lundgren's eighth directing project, perhaps with the most potential yet. In the 2000s, Lundgren directed a string of films which he also which he also starred, most of which premiered straight to video. In 2020, Lundgren returned to the director's tale for Castle Falls, a financial action thriller that saw Lundgren reteam with, leg with legendary Tomb of the Dragon co-star and fellow martial artist Scott Atkins. Production stalled due to COVID-19, and the film is currently on track to be to be released December 3rd, 2021. And here is a synopsis for The Wanted Man provided by Deadline. Um... When a cartel shooting leaves, leaves several DEA agents dead, an aging police officer must retrieve an eyewitness and escort her across the border. But when they learn that the attack was executed by American forces, he must decide who to trust. Um, how do I feel about the new action movie Wanted Man? Um, it sounds cliche as all hell at this point for action movies, but that but that may be a good thing, you know. You know, sometimes you don't you don't want to you know you don't want to stray too far away from genre conventions. You know, you don't want to you don't want to come in and subvert expectations just to subvert expectations because that's a bad that's that's a horrible excuse for wanting to subvert expectations. And I know that they kind of gave Dolph Lundgren crap about you know directing and starring in movies that went like straight to video. It's it, you know. It's one of those things where, where some of those movies truly weren't all that bad. You know, it's it's not like the it's not like the Steven Seagal movies where, where the guy can't act worth shit. And, you know, the guy's now like 300 pounds and has to do all his fight scenes, you know, sitting down. You know, it's rather embarrassing for for um, for um, for Seagal. But um, if you watch a lot of Dolph Lundgren's like straight to video movies or even straight to HBO, you know, a lot of them are basically like what the action movies were in the in the uh, 80s going into the early 90s. And I remember watching one um, quite a few years ago now. I only saw it once, but I remember it being quite decent. I think it was called Bridge of Dragons. It released directly. I think it released directly to HBO. Uh, if you haven't seen if you haven't seen that one, you know, you know, check it out. Um, so to wrap to wrap this all up, because I, I've, I've obviously tangent longer than I probably needed to do. Um. I'm cautiously optimistic for for the uh, for the movie again as long as it, they can make it at cliche to all hell and I I think I think they absolutely should just keep it cliched all like all to hell because like yeah, it's an action it's an action movie what what do you, what do you expect you know don't try to subvert expectations just to subvert expectations but you do have like, adult but you do have Dolph Lundgren attached to it so at least you might be able to preserve those um those elements from uh, 80s action movies. 
And guys, that's pretty much all I've got for you. If you stuck around this long, thanks so much for doing so. And if you've been following me long enough, you know I'm terrible at ending these videos. So I will just see you guys uh, next time.